Welcome to Eagle Spire Gaming. I'm your host, Crown. Today is September 18th, and we are doing the second episode of Grey Penance. We got a lot of models to cover, so let's get started. First, I would like to say uh, happy birthday to the Air Force. And with that in mind, uh, with the Air Force's birthday in mind, um, it is only fitting that today I have finished and added to my Legion Imperialis Air Force, and I have added in some Lightning Fighters, uh, a squadron of six. Kind of, sort of, two squadrons. Uh, a squadron of four of them like this, and a squadron of two of them like this. Um... My granddad retired from the Air Force, and I would go to a lot of air shows. And something I would see on some of the aircraft is is tail marking. The tail would be painted special on one aircraft, um, and it would be kind of the... Uh, it would be like the CO's aircraft or the, the com squadron commander's aircraft. They would, they would, you know, make it a little extra, make it special, do a little special paint job. And I wanted to do that with these guys. I just, uh, there's not a lot of room on the tail to do much work to it. So I, I just kind of, I just kind of, uh, I went full body and, um, something, something in me, just, you know, I still want, I still wanted it to look like, I still wanted it to match the rest of the color scheme. So I, uh, I painted, you know, a, a portion of the wing that way. Um, and then, you know, I did one wing. Solid black, you know, you know, pure black, uh, full black, and then the other wing is kind of half, half of it, uh, not black, pure. This scheme, and then the other, the blue is in a different spot. It's a different, it's a different group, right? <clears throat> and then the the other wing I did half, and then the tail, uh, the 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 tail, the fin stabilizer. I don't know what to call it. Um, I did, uh, you know, I kind of, I kind of went. You know, see, so, so here, here, a little bit closer. And I'll have, I'll post some, I'll put some pictures over this too, so you'll be able to see all that. It, it kind of, you know, I kind of just went, kind of just went with it. a little bit black on it. it. I think it looks cool. I think it looks good. Um, I would uh, love to know how you guys painted yours. I'd love to know how you did them. I went with this. I went with this uh, four and two for a very particular reason. Uh, I love this kit. Great kit. Uh, I, I love most of the kits. Um, it has a lot of aircraft to it. Uh, it has a lot of points in the box. Uh, the other, the other aircraft for Solar Auxiliary, um, fours for the fighters and then twos for the bombers. So, uh, these guys are kind of, they got a lot of bombs on them. So you could say that they're, they're bombers, but, um, or fighter, they're bom bomber fighter. Um, they, the kit only comes, great kit, only comes with, you get two main weapons, LAS cannon or multi laser. You only get, you only get two, you can only, you only get enough twin LAS cannons to fit two of these aircraft. Uh, the multi laser has more shots, but they don't hit as often and they don't, um, they, they are light AT, so they don't hurt tanks. Uh, they don't hurt, hurt vehicles as as efficiently. They don't have any AP against vehicles. They don't have any AP against infantry either. So uh, all they have is volume of shots. Whereas the twin las cannon, uh, not as good against infantry just because it doesn't have as many shots. Um, but it does have a better to hit, and it can hurt. It, it, it gets its AP against tanks. Uh, both both weapon options have sky fire, so you know you, you don't have to worry about that when you're shooting against uh, vehicles, uh, aircraft. <clears throat> which these ones are meant to go against uh, my build, uh, how I'm running them. They are my anti-aircraft. Uh, they are my anti-aircraft aircraft. Also important to uh, have some ground anti-aircraft assets, uh, have a good field of coverage because your aircraft are going to be limited in their ability to take out aircraft from your opponent's anti-aircraft ground assets. So you should have your own ground assets. Uh, remember, there is no line of sight blocking against aircraft. You just see them. They're they're up there and, and you know, a building 
is in blocking that. So uh, go ahead and take those guys out with some Viridos or some Tarantulas. Um, I fired some Tarantulas at a Thunderhawk over the weekend, and in conjunction, you know, these guys supported, but the Tarantulas took it out. Um, I had six of them. Um, the, uh, the other limitation to this kit is it's got these missiles here. I, you don't have to put all six of them. Uh, a lot of the artwork, the bombers don't even have the wing bombs missiles on them. They, they just don't put them on there. I put mine on before I started painting and that was a terrible idea. Don't do that. But, uh, add them after uh you don't have to use all you know i got three here you only get to have two you only get you can only you you get to pick two weapons you can double up on them but uh you only get two and i did six so um you know there's one more than really needed to be on there but there's three slots you know three slots per wing there's six six per aircraft so i did it i think it looks cool you could uh get you could uh take some green stuff and have these up ahead of the aircraft, you know, do one up here and the other one down here, and put green stuff, some smoke, and have uh, have it look like it just fired. That would look sick. Um, I don't think anyone. I don't know if anyone's done that. I haven't seen that yet. Maybe maybe like War, Warhammer World has it or something. I'm sure they do. Somebody's probably done this by now. But uh, the game's been out for almost a year. Uh, getting close to a year. Um, we only, box only comes with 12 of these. So I put six on this aircraft. I put six on their aircraft. That's all 12 of them, right? And they look, they're the, they're, you know, other than the mistakes I made, they're the exact same. And then I got four like this. So uh, those two are going to be my, they can, they can shoot at aircraft just because they have, Skyfire on their last cannon. They have interceptors, so when they come onto the board, they'll shoot their last cannons at aircraft if they're not already, uh, if they're not already, um, dead, shot at. Uh, after that, though, they can start shooting, they'll start taking, taking out tanks, uh, tanks and titans, I guess, will be, will be their goal. Um, and they'll have a lot of shots to do that with the Hellstrike missiles. You know, if you, I've got two and two, each aircraft will have two. Uh, so, so that's four shots total per aircraft. So eight, eight Hellstrike missiles, armor bane. I, you know, that'll mess up a layman, uh, layman Russ or or uh, Predator Malkadors. Uh, you know, that'll mess up a tank formation. Uh, pretty good. Uh, Add in the last cannon fire. Um, the other squadron, these guys, I'm going to run against. And their plan is to take out aircraft. They got the Sky Strike missiles. Um, what I originally wanted to do was have them in wings of two, uh, formations, of, detachments of two, uh, two and two, and that way um, more activations I can come in and you know, I can bait out the aircraft, maybe uh, bait out the opponent's interceptors. Um, so that I can shoot them, uh, give me some options, and then, you know, fire off my Sky Strike missiles against them on Interceptor. Interceptor lets you shoot one weapon per, per aircraft when you come on. You can take two missiles. They can be the same missiles, and then you would have two Sky Strike missiles or two Hell Strike missiles, but you're only shooting one Hell Strike, uh, one Sky Strike missile on that Interceptor. So it would be two shots per aircraft uh because each instance of that weapon would have two shots but you're only going to have th those two dice uh you aren't going to get to have the extra ones for the other ones so another thing you could do is you could put your hell strike missile you could split them up have hell strike and sky strike missiles on the same aircraft and that way um you could just use the you could just use the sky strike missiles on your interceptor and then after you've done that maybe there's no more aircraft and maybe you can start shooting you know bombing the tanks and things um it's kind of splitting your egg you know it's like splitting fires you know you putting all your eggs in one basket you're hoping that it that it works uh that you get them in the interceptor 
Um, maybe don't do that, but if I was going to do that, I might run them in a wing of four. Uh, just so that I have eight, eight dice going out at one time. But uh, I've got options where I did it, so I'm happy with that. Um, let me know your thoughts, what you're going to do. I appreciate all the likes and comments and, and subscribers that we've gotten. If you like and if you like these videos, subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. Uh, help me out. Let me know that you guys want, want me doing this. And um, I'll end with uh, with uh, what's, what's coming up next. Uh, we're going to be doing, I'm going to be making some tactic videos. Uh, which, and then I'm going to be doing, it's coming, uh, part three to the starter's guide will be, uh, will be a battle report. Uh, I just need the time to do it and I'm working on that, but it's coming. And, um, hopefully I can, uh, hopefully next week I'm working on some Malkadors now. Hopefully next week I can have those done and do another video. Uh, I'm not going to try to keep, you know, if I buy another box, First of all, if I buy another box of, of uh, lightning fighters, I've messed up because the gray pennants, uh, you know, I don't, I shouldn't be buying stuff I don't need right away um, until I finish all these other things. Uh, but I don't want to show, I don't want to make another video on these because it's just, it's just going to be the same guys. They're going to look the same. Like, you know, hey, next week I'm just going to show you another video of these guys. Nah, it's going to be boring. So, uh, so hopefully next week I can show you, I can, uh, I finished the Malkadors. Um, but if not, I'll, I've got tactic videos I can do. Um, you know, I'm going to talk about the tactics of my Malkadors or something else. Yeah, uh, I got a lot of ideas, so uh, stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Eagle Spire Gaming. Thanks for flying by.